Hi and welcome back. How are you doing? Today I'm going to show you how to add a disk a disks to VMware and this disk disks will be available to ASM and will be a shareable uh, among the two nodes rack one and rack, rack two. But before I get started I need just to show you the, the idea what I am going to do in this training. Okay, uh, I have this uh, figure show the Oracle uh, Oracle rack and ASM architecture okay uh, what I am going to do is okay add this you can see here this is a disks uh, so I will add these disks to okay to the VMware and let it be available to ASM and uh, the ASM will uh, install the a file system called ASM clustered file system you can search it on internet and uh, in uh, another video I will just uh, try to um, uh, to make an introduction for ASM and uh, talking I will talk about uh, the ASM functionality and uh, AS the idea behind ASM at all but in this uh, video I will concentrate on the a okay on the virtual disks this disks I will add it to the VMware you can, this could be um, uh, physical disks or virtual disks like uh, or logical disks like uh, SAN storage or uh, or whatever you have uh, storage it will be uh, um, uh, available for ASM to install the ACFS ASM clustered file system. Uh, so finally, the, the the idea is to the add this uh, disks and let it available for all the nodes. How uh, okay available? That means shareable among all the the nodes. And there is a, a tricky uh, configuration in, uh, in VMware to do this. So today I'm going to show this. So let's get started. First, um, okay, I will go to here to the VMware, VMware settings. From settings, I am going to add, okay, add a disk, uh, a hard disk, a virtual hard drive. Okay, select SCSI is uh, this. Um, this uh, option is recommended but the mode should be independent with persistent next create a new virtual disk okay uh, for me I will let the space okay uh, I will choose the 7 GB with single file next here I will browse to okay storage here I will write ASM 1 and uh, okay and uh, let the Put the VMDK, okay, and then open. Finished. This is the ASM one. I will, okay, from advanced here, you can come here and select the the SCSI, okay, the SCSI, uh, the virtual uh, device node. Choose one of one. This is for first uh, ASM uh, disk. Okay, open. Add another one. Next. Okay, independent, present the same. Next, same options. You can just uh, repeat for all of them. Okay, okay, ASM2, control A, control C, copy it, and then you need to select this one, control V, open. And this is the second, finished. This is the second disk. Okay, next, next, the same, the same options. Okay, this is a seven. Okay, next, and here, okay, browse, control V, and put here instead of two, three, open, finish. This is, and this is the last one, the fourth disk, next, okay, and resistant. Next, create disk and then add here a 7 GB. Okay, 7 GB. Uh, with next, okay, and here, browse. 
shared storage this should be as shared storage okay seven okay folder uh, four all disks should be it's for me it's up to you you can put it on the on VMware one uh, sorry rack one folder but for me it's better to put it in shared storage in in, uh, in uh, uh, you can see here we can we have disks, but uh, it's better or a best practice to create another folder called share, shared storage folder. And here you can put the the shareable uh, disk among uh, both nodes. So this is the last one finished. Okay. So here we create the the disks. So. Okay, how I can just configure the the VMware to let these disks to be shareable among all the or the both rack one and rack two? There is a configuration file you can see a configuration file. See, okay, virtual. Okay, go to this path. Uh, actually, I think I open it here. No, I think it's uh, it's not here. Um, okay. Uh, I think in the other window. Okay, here, this one. So you can see here the last one here. So um, I think uh, here. Uh, okay, you can see here the fourth of them. Uh, I will delete all of this because uh, not all of this till here. I think till here. Yes. Remove this one. Okay, SCSI. Ah, oh, wait, I need to change. You see, I forget to change the the node settings. Uh, okay, I change it for the first one. The second one, I think, I didn't change it. So I change it for, wait, make sure this one, the, okay, this is the third one. So I change it from 0, 3 to 1, 3. Okay. And I will change also this one, the fourth one, to add advance. Okay, advance from zero four to one four. Okay. And the last one is one. Uh, the second one. Uh, okay, first one. Okay, this is right. This one, the second one. I think I need to change it to. Okay, the second one. Okay. And then okay. So this will this will refl uh, reflect on, uh, on here. You can see reload. Okay, you can see here get affected. Okay, I will remove not all of this from here. I think to change. Okay, to remove this one, all of this one. And also the SCSI one, remove this one, and SCSI one also, remove this one, and remove this one, okay, okay, I will add in the end of file. Okay, see right now uh, I have it ready here so I will I will move all of this configuration control C I will share it with you and send for me if you want if you want it or and I copy it in the below the YouTube in the description it will be available there so I will try just to test and run the virtual machine to see if it's it will work or not you can see here uh, print screen cluster is not supported for VMware the setting will be ignored don't worry this uh, just make sure that the disks is available let's see what the configuration file if it's changed okay wait Okay. 
just add this okay okay but he's still the same I think it's the same uh, make sure that's uh, with uh, okay okay I think it's the same this one that I can size okay the same so I think it's working fine but I will make sure that they are visible to the operating system I will log in from here so ls minus a okay dev sd star you can see here we add four disks c d e f so uh, i'm going to format them to be uh, available by f disk and put this one the first one so <clears throat> if you don't if you don't want if you okay if you have no any idea about if this command you can search on the internet but here it's, it's too much simple you can uh, put new it's a new partition p for primary and then one for first and the end of the default is the end of uh, okay choose one of four it will be the first sector okay uh, i will choose the default okay the default one and then p to print what we exactly okay it's uh, it's uh, correct okay the right button then right okay same for d uh, new p the default first letter default the default and then print to see was okay exactly okay correct and then write uh, we'll add also for uh, for the e desk okay uh, new one and then p okay and then one and also the same default default and then print out the okay and then write to this right okay then we'll do for f and then n p and after p okay correct print out then write and we can just recall this comment you can see here we create four disks and all of them available to Oracle ASM. Uh, next video, I will show you how to install. Um, actually, uh, next video, I will just uh, clone and copy this, uh, the rack one, and create the rack two, and try to, after that, uh, I am going to install the lib libraries for uh, Oracle, ASM, uh, Oracle ASM libraries from the software and try to install the uh, make these uh, disks available uh, for ASM in both nodes uh, so I uh, see you soon thank you for watching